Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm on a bridge over the River So in the village of Baggington in Warwickshire. Today is an episode of Miniature Railway Britain and the reason I'm starting my video here on this bridge is because the railway we're going to is called the Bridgeview Light Railway. It's just over there in Russell's Garden Centre. So when we have a ride on the train we should get a view of this bridge. What I'm going to do first though is I'm walking away in the other direction and you'll notice there is a, another bridge here. This carries the road which goes from the M40 up towards Coventry. I've just been driving along there and parked under this bridge is my larder. So we're going to get in my larder, drive around the corner to the Bridgeview Light Railway. So here we are, we're driving over the bridge. Now this railway, it's quite a new one. It's only been here since about 2018, I understand, but I did go to this railway at its old location, which was just up the road. There used to be the Electric Railway Museum, and unfortunately that railway museum had to close, but it had all sorts of various EMUs, which had run at all different parts around the UK. They had a nice little railway. I had a ride on it, so if you want to see the link on screen now, you'll see it's a very short video. When the railway museum closed, they moved to here, and this is where we're going to today, and I can just see a train down there and an old lathe. So I'm very excited. <laughs> We're going to have a look at this railway and also it's a garden centre as I've mentioned. There's meant to be some quite nice gardens so we're going to have an interesting afternoon. Well, here we are. We've arrived in my larder. We're going to go and have a ride on the railway but I've just noticed up here, I have to do this after the railway, there's an old tractor and it says there's some gardens. So be quite fun to go and explore the gardens but let's go and have a ride on the train first and then we'll have a look around the rest of the site it's quite a big garden centre you can see all the typical garden centre where you can buy plants and garden features etc i think there's a cafe here i've also been told there's a maze here so it's the sort of place you can go to and have a, a really nice day out and it's also quite interesting the village there's a few other attractions there's a castle there's an amphitheatre and there's an aviation museum. I've been to the aviation museum before when I visited the railway museum. Just before the railway museum closed, I went to the railway museum and as it was next door, I went to the aviation museum. So the, you can easily spend a day in this village with the amount of tractors it's got. So we're coming to the garden centre now. We're going to go down through all of the, the forest of flower pots. As you, this is what, a bit of a feature of the garden centre's railways I go to. It always starts having to walk through an area like this, which is always quite fun. Oh yeah, and then look, it says Bridgeview Light Railway. There seems to be a music event going on in the area. I can just... Sounds like um, Status Quo are playing. Probably isn't actually Status Quo. Anyway, yeah. I can hear the singing. It's not as good as the real Status Quo. Anyway, the Bridgeview Light Railway. That's what we've come here to see. I'm going to go through here to the station. And then here's the railway. It's all looking very neat, a nice garden. And there's the railway station and there's a train. So I think we're going to go for a ride on the train. And then when we've had a ride on the train, we'll perhaps do a little bit of line siding. I think I can walk around the gardens and explore the site.
that was a very enjoyable ride on the train. Now let's go and have a look around this part of the gardens and we're going to explore the rest of the gardens. So I was just talking to some of the members, they're telling me about the railway. As I mentioned earlier, it was originally just up the road at the Electric Rail Museum, which unfortunately closed. When they began to build the railway, they started with the station and they began to build the railway that way. So the section here, which we rode on first, this is the newest part of the railway. So we'll go for a walk around here and we'll walk. There was a couple of other stations. I noticed there's that old lathe I saw from the car as we arrived. So yeah, big, big old lathe making quite a nice, it just somehow fits nicely into the landscape of the gardens. This is really quite pleasant gardens. I'll tell you what it reminds me a little bit of is Bressingham in Norfolk. It just has that kind of feel. A train going, I think there might be a train going, so we might be able to watch the trains go past. So you've got a level cross in here, we'll see a train cross that in a minute. So as I said, that's the newer part of the line. I'll show you where the line used to go to in a minute. There's a, a pond here. It's, um, like I say, yeah, it reminds me of the foggy bottom garden at Bressing. Got quite a nice big, big pond there. Oh, now is that the train? Yes. Yeah. So the station's over there. One of the trains has departed, so we'll go over here. We'll watch the train go past, and I want to walk to the other station. That's my plan. And then we'll have a look at the rest of the line. There it goes. disappearing behind the trees I'll walk to level crossing we can watch the train cross at level crossing as passengers are enjoying their first class ride in the first class seats as I did very comfortable there's this dinosaur here, which stands nicely above the railway line. Anyway, where I'm heading for is the second station on the line I wanted to show you. So originally it was just the out and back, and then this is the, the newer section. So it's done quite a lot really. It's come on for a railway that's only five years old. It's really done quite well. Get to here, where the train's just disappeared. There's another railway station called Midgeway. Now one of, I was talking to one of the members, he told me the reason why they gave the station the name Midgeway. Let's go on the platform, I'll have a look. There we go. There was another halt round the corner where you can go and see Father Christmas. So people probably do get on and off here, but I don't think many people get on and off here, if ever. So this is probably the least used station on the, on the bridge view light rail. As for the bridge itself, I won't go down there because the track clearance is quite limited, but the bridge is, well, we'll go the other way and have a look. But this, this is what I want to show you. So you've got some signals here. You can just see the next signal down there. That long straight section, that's the track that I rode on up about a mile away up the hill, up at the Electric Rail Museum. So they, they relayed that here. So they began to run along to here and it was just an end-to-end -end line. And the reason the station got the name Midway, you'd think it'd be Midway, wouldn't you? It was originally called Midway, but with the river down there, they said they kept getting bitten by midges, so they decided to call it Midway. Let's go down here now. As soon as I start mentioning midges, I'm thinking, can I feel a midge bite me? I don't think I can, I think it's just uh, that feeling. Anyway, we're gonna go round here and see the bridge where we started, and then I'm gonna go, maybe have another ride, go to the other end of the site. So that is the bridge. It's just the other side of the Palisade fence, but that's the bridge of the bridge view light railway. I'm going back there to watch some trains and maybe have another ride.
Well, having had fun on the trains, I'm now in the Potting Shed Cafe. That's the Garden Centre's cafe. I have a cup of tea, and I'm going to go and explore the gardens, because they told me at the railway they're really quite extensive, so I'm quite excited to look around the rest of what appears to be quite a vast site. It's now started to rain, but I'm going to explore the rest of the gardens of the site. So there's quite a lot of gardens. A bit late for the rhododendrons this year, but I should think if I came here in about May, this would have looked really quite amazing with lots of different coloured flowers. We're going down here. This is called, I think it's called the Quarry Garden. Now, the reason this garden is fairly important and relevant to the railway is that this is the quarry where the stone from came from to build the bridge that we started off that the railway's named after. Oh yeah, and it does feel like, look, we are going right down into a quarry. So this is, imagine quite a long time ago, a couple of hundred years ago, so maybe longer. Now we're down here digging all of this out and the stone that was here where I'm standing is now part of the bridge. So this, this is the quarry garden and there's a lake there. It says danger, deep water or a pond maybe. Yes, pond, it's a bit, a bit ambitious calling it a lake. So this, this is the quarry down here. I'm going to continue through the rain, find my way out of this and we'll go and see what other, what else we can find. Well, these gardens literally seem to be going on forever. I've gone from being down at the bottom of the quarry to a higher up point. You can see down there, there's another pond. I kind of came down this ravine from that quarry all the way down there, and I found my way to up here. It's, I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. So, so as I, those of you who watch my videos know, I do like exploring gardens. So this is as fun as riding a train. So for me, I'm having a really quite an exciting day. We go down here, we go back into the quarry, we go out through the wild flower meadow, then we're going to go and find a maze. So, keep going. Go down here through these bushes. There's so many other narrower paths going off, which I don't know where they go. I'm not going to explore all of them. But look, this is another part of the quarry. There's a path going off in that direction. I kind of want to explore that as well. This is the quarry. Let's go out of here. There's a sign to the river. I must, whether that is the river so that we started by, I'm not too sure. We're coming out, out of the woods. Oh, this is the wildflower meadow. So we're now into the wildflower meadow. There's a path going off that way. This is wildflower meadow. And if we go down here, it says there's a creepy overgrown maze. Okay. Go that way and find that, shall we? So I've now come through that, what I thought was the wildflower meadow, but I've just noticed a sign here. It says wildflower meadow down there. The maze is down there. So let's go down there and see the wildflower meadow. It looks dark, doesn't it? Um, see what that's like, then we'll finish up in the maze. I think I found the wildflower meadow then, and just like the rest of the site, it is pretty vast. It just seems to go on forever. So. If you are going to come and visit here, like I say, there's a lot of other things to do in the village with the castle and the aviation museum, but you can have a really nice walk around here. I can just see the end of the garden centre over there. There's a few people buying things. I think the river must run right around. Let's see if we can find it. I think the river might be just down here because we did see a sign. It did say to the river. So let's find that. Then we're going to go and see the maze, which um, I'm really intrigued to see what a creepy overgrown maze is like is this the river just here it's um like i say a bit of a an unusual place this yeah look this is the river and look there's a bench with old tractor seats so yeah i think i think this is the river so again there's the river i'm now going to go and find the maze as if this place doesn't feel like a maze as it is i'm going to go and find an actual maze So having now explored the wildflower meadow, I'm walking up this path. There's an old Rolls Royce over there, a bit random. You always get unusual cars around garden centres. We're going to go and do the maze. Now you know it's a creepy overgrown maze. I kind of see what they mean. It looks creepy overgrown and so dark. I don't think you're going to see me, maze. Yeah, you um, pretty much can't see me. When I go further, my face is going to disappear in the darkness. I'm going to go down here 
and um, hopefully see you in the middle. Well, you can just about still see me. This video really has had the oddest turn from a miniature railway to a dark, scary maze. But we come around this corner, it gets a bit lighter. It goes from coniferous to privet. So, got coniferous on one side, privet on the other. And um, a bit more confident of finding my way. Okay, that's dark, dark dead ends. Um, yeah, a bit more confident of finding my way to the middle because previously it was just so dark, you couldn't see anything. It really was just weird, this place is. I'm gonna try and find my way to the middle. Well, it really feels like I've been in this maze for quite a long time, but I think I'm coming to the end. So it's interestingly, I've worked out it's layered. So this is the privet. Um, it's this privet, this sort of circuit of hedging. And then this one's beach. But then we go back to coniferous. But I can see through the coniferous some form of light. When we get to here. The spider just walks in front of me. I don't think we're quite at the middle, but I think we're getting there. No, that's, oh wait, that's, that looked like a dead end. But this goes around here. Ah, oh, and then a box, box hedging. More privet, box hedging. I think we could be near the middle. This is probably the strangest way I've ever ended a miniature railway Britain video by going in a maze that is genuinely quite scary. Um, but I think we've finally arrived at the middle. Go through here and, well, here we are. Uh, got an overgrown garden in the middle. This has got to be the middle. You can see the layering of the maze. You can see it goes box, privet, coniferous. There's some beach in there. So you can sort of see we came in where the trees are tallest in that very dark bit. Now, interestingly, there's three other ways out over there. When I go in a maze, I always have a policy. I do the keep left trick. So if I keep left, I either come back to where I started or I go to the middle. If you come back to where you started, it means there's more than one way to the middle. And I soon discovered that with this one. I went right round and I was back to where I started. So here we are, I am in the middle. At this garden centre, if I can find my way out of this maze in time, there's a cafe called The Potting Shed. I need to find my way out there on time, so I need to have a cup of tea. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It really has been, after doing, the Minutes Railway of course was fun and that was the whole point of coming here, but after doing it, I have had quite a lot of fun in um, probably one of the stranger garden centres I've been to. I've been to so many garden centres, mainly garden centres that have railways, but it really has been quite an enjoyable day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you are out this way, do come and visit this garden centre and have fun like I have. Try not to get lost in here. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from the middle of a maze, which I may never find my way out of again. Goodbye.